chew tobacco, chew tobacco, chew tobacco, spit. What is today? Hell, I don't know. Let, let's double check here. There it is. April 29th. 2016. How the hell did we get here today? I can tell you how we got here, one day at a time. So the recording has already started. The disclaimer, what we're talking about here is our opinion, what we've heard, not to be taken as legal advice. We're not attorneys, financial advisors, CPAs, or anything of any type of, what's the word I'm looking for? expert. We're just lay people here. We are rednecks. Today, because I've missed it all week, is hug a redneck day till we scream or till we say we like it, one or the other. So there we go. <clears throat> I'm waiting for a few more people. Eh, it looks like they're going to be late. No big deal. I got it covered. Where are we at? Well, we are not on the highway to hell. We're not in a rowboat on the river to hell. This is a blessing coming down, and it's a good one. So patience, grasshopper, patience. So I was a little, a little upset earlier today, but uh, after I had my Snickers, I was just hungry. I am much better now. What else? We have heard, you know, it's probably been all over the internet. I get to, I'll get to you in just a second. Um, that a body made some type of speech in the mosque. Don't see anything on it about it just yet. So we wait, but I think we're we're very close. I think we're very close. Now. Richard is on here with the trust and he's got he wants to say a couple of things. Richard, if you're there, you're unmuted, go ahead. Thank you. Um can you hear me okay, Jerry? Yes, sir. Hey, I sent you three texts yesterday. Did you get those? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Well you never replied back, but um <laughs> after, we'll we'll talk after the call. Go ahead. Okay, that's fine. Um just a couple of things. Uh housekeeping i just want to remind people again because i even though i said it on a conference call about a week ago um after we have an rv the um balances on the trust uh the checks will be sent to me at the address that i've given most people in newport beach california and the checks will be made out for the balance of your trust to Masters Copyrights, LLC. Several people have asked me about that because they want to be prepared. So you'll find the, the name Masters Copyrights, LLC on the first page of your application, trust application, or in the website. But you're going to send it to the uh, Newport Center address that I've given most of you when we RV, and then I will take care of it from there with having the law firm kick out all of the trusts. Um, some of them will be sent to me and then on to you uh, because I have uh, acted as the uh, settler of a couple of trusts. Those will be taken care of when they arrive to you, so don't worry about that. I'll take care of that. Um, the other thing I want to do is... Um, only because I haven't had a chance to respond to everybody that have sent in emails requesting information, I just want to remind everybody that I'm going to tell tell people just here, for the people who don't know, how to get the application from the website. One of the things that we wanted to do on the website is have people not attempt to necessarily fill out the application without having a conversation so we kind of hit it. So the way to find the application for those who are maybe waiting for a, for a response from me or an email back is that if you look on the home page of masterstrust.com, on the home page in the lower right-hand corner, all the way down, there's a piggy bank. 
and in the piggy bank right next to uh right next to the piggy bank in the piggy bank in the same picture is a lock and that lock is hot and if you click on that lock there's a pdf version of the four page application and a word version for people who want to um, fill it out uh in the word uh, in a word document um, all of those emails for trust applications need to come to to my email and that if for people who st still think they want to do something um and that the email is rth6996 at gmail.com and i'll give it to you again it's rth romeo tango hotel rth6996 at gmail.com um so, so i need people to if you want to talk at least print out the application and be familiar with uh the the application and we can move through things much quicker um i'm finding time is is very valuable right now because i'm trying to get a few things taken care of um the last thing i want to mention is that um Rosen and Rosen has agreed uh to hold a um, a trust and and trust tax meeting in Dallas, Texas on June the 4th for current clients of basically the clients that have come through me. I asked them to do it and they agreed to do it. We're going to do it in Dallas on the weekend, the Saturday of June the 4th, um, we will, there's there's no reason to R, RSVP right now, but if we're going to hold it in a, uh, in a hotel uh, close to the, to uh, DFW, uh, it will start about 10 o'clock in the morning and go to about three or four in the afternoon. Uh, theoretically, people could fly in and leave early if they wanted to or drive, but we have room for about 150 people, I believe. Um, we will be, uh, we won't be filming it, but we'll be recording uh, the um, the meeting, and we'll uh, get a, uh, we'll do a, uh, oh, what do you call it when you make a copy of the of the speeches? Uh, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. But we will be printing it, print out, printing out the uh, uh, the speech, and we'll also be providing it at other meetings that we may have after that. Um, they've offered this is a one-time uh, thing for Rosen and Rosen to do for the for Masters Trust, and I will be telling you more about it in communication. Now, here here are the rules. The rules are that you have to be a uh, a paid customer of or client of Masters Copyrights LLC, meaning that you, the, the program that we're doing for people who have paid is is qualifies for that. So either you have paid for your whole trust, or you have a you know what we could call a layaway. Let's call it that, and that you have paid for that layaway, and you're eligible to come to the meeting, and it's going to be. It's not going to be for outsiders. It will be checked, uh, but you have to be a member, so to speak. Uh, I'll tell you more about it later, but right now, it's, again, it's going to be June the 4th uh, in a Dallas hotel very near the airport, and um, I'll have more details later. And that's really all I wanted to do today. I may listen to the call, Jerry, if you don't mind, and if people have questions afterwards, I'll just stay on and listen. So that's, that's all I have. Perfect. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so just a, a little more housekeeping on my part. It just need, it needs to be addressed. It, it's running through the darn, Dinar land like wildfire that I've uh, taken money from Fort Oki, lined my own pockets, you know, all kinds of nefarious things other than doing the right thing like I talked about and bill 
admin Bill over at Winsome has basically thrown me underneath the bus saying that I've taken advantage and uh, that Oki doesn't need the money, he's got VA benefits, blah, blah, blah. Well, <clears throat> I've sent, and, I, and the, the amount is not even the issue here, but it's sizable. And every time I sent some through Walmart, I took a, a, a cell phone picture, and I've sent it to three people what's been sent, how much, and the date. They can see all that on the receipt. And for me, that's all that matters. And and I've said before, one of them was ICO. Um, and so that's that's just been addressed. Can't help it if you don't believe what, what I did, but, you know, we all need money, but I didn't take it. It was it went in the PayPal account, then it went to my account. I went and, and did the little chip card at Walmart with my little Wells Fargo debit card and then sent the money to Oki. So if anybody has any issues with that, trust me, there's people out there that know, have seen the receipts, and all is good. Thank you for letting me uh, clear the air there. Iko, you got anything for us today? You know, wait, hold on. I forgot. Art, Art, you're unmuted. Go ahead. Hello there. Hello there. How you doing today, I, Art? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. I think some people evidently are sad because they didn't think of something very good to do like you did. That's all. And they got to do whatever they do to muddy the waters, you know. It's sad, but we had well, it, it made them. It made them look like they were small-minded because they spouted off before they had the complete facts. And you know, in Texas, what do they call that? Yep, all hat, no horn. <laughs> I got a couple of things here. Of course, we all thought, I guess, we would get notifications last night with the fact that Iraq went. Their currency went gold back. Bruce announced their currency went gold back. To, Certain people don't agree with that, I guess. Uh, on this guy on this other call, that he has got a brother somewhere. He, you uh, know, he said, I, I don't know anybody listening to this call. He said, No, he said, I, I didn't hear that. And uh, no, he said, I think every bank's going to handle the Zim. And so uh, some people just aren't in the know, I guess, the way they need to be. I don't know. But um, so there's always going to be a conflict. And as to what somebody says, maybe Dizzy says something that. You don't agree with some the way some things are going to be handled, and other people wonder why, and then they get on that call and get confused because they hear different things on this call or Bruce's call or whatever. So it can be kind of confusing out there for sure. Um, a couple of things that I did here, and I don't, um, and this would have to be checked out to be gospel. It's not gospel. It's just um, something that's been heard, um, which is a pretty good um, intel source, said that, Groups will process with the public. Well, I checked on that, and I was told just a few minutes ago that we should get our six days, but groups may, or public may go ahead and start maybe three days after groups are going, so there could be an overlap. I think that's probably what the first set I got and didn't quite understand completely if that's the case, and it doesn't make any difference, I guess, because, you know, one group's gone for one thing, Public's going for something different, so it doesn't matter. Um, structured payouts will be for people with $2 billion on cash out for dinar, I just heard. Whether that's true or not, those, these sort of things will have to be verified to be gospel, let's put it that way. And $5 billion on the dong, probably a lot of people don't have enough dinar to have $2 billion or $5 billion on the dong, I don't think. They just have an awful, awful lot of it. Uh, I mean, the Zim is the one with the high rate, so the structured payout does not affect most people or, or what they what they feel with that little information I got. Plus, we also just heard that the uh, because the Zim is being traded as bonds, basically, um, I'm just hearing Chinese have it on a platform, 
and they want these paid out first, and they will end Saturday night around 9 o'clock. I've been told, and after 9, we may get notifications after 9 Saturday night. So, again, that's something that is being said, and nothing can be taken for the gospel unless it's verified by several different sources, let's put it that way. So just little tidbits and food for thought, and and uh, we're all still waiting. Um, and I know Robert was really excited last night on Bruce's call, and so was Bruce, and thought surely I guess something was happening last night, but it always seems to be something that kind of changes it slightly and delays it just a little bit longer, doesn't it? So anyway, that's, that's about all I got, just waiting in anticipation like everyone else to uh, do our exchanges. And uh, that's about it. Thank you very much, Art. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Rockstar, how you doing today? Uh-oh, he's got to go through. Well, he's got to put it. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I thought well, you had to put the magic was, code in so you could be you could be heard. Right. Right. I I, I was. I I talked myself back into a good mood about half an hour ago, and now I'm in a bad mood again. Um. This this thing with Oki is just so disappointing on so many levels. I can't tell you. Um, you know, it's just it 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 really brought out some people's true colors. And I'm not just talking about Bill. I'm talking about all the conversations I lurked in. You know, in the, in the various chat rooms, et cetera, um, including the smart kids room, and. Uh, you know, I, so while I'm in a bad mood, I'll just say, if 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 you don't get what's going on by now, you're not going to get it, okay? So just give up, all right? Um, if you can't discern what's misinformation, what's direction from one particular source trying to combat direction from another particular source, what's ego, what's personal agenda from the from the various gurus um, and and spokespeople, uh, just 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 you know, give up now. Turn off your computer and turn off your phone and, and wait for this to happen. Uh and and good luck. Um it's it's you know, it's just it's just it's just so simple that you know, you're you're a wealthy person. Period. Period. No matter what the rates are now. There's the the base rates are so good, you are a wealthy individual. And, you know, you need to stop thinking like a freaking idiot, um, you know, and get on your feet and get with the program uh, and stop mistrusting the banks. Yes, there are bad bankers out there, but you're going to be dealing with a bank, like it or not. I don't, I don't care. I don't care when we reach parity. I don't care when we go asset back. You're going to be dealing with a bank. You're going to be dealing with digital currency. You're your credit card's going to have a chip in it. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it, just, it just floors me. The amount of information we've been given over the past couple of years and people still can't figure it out, good luck to them. You know, that's all I can say. Uh, and I guess that's enough. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I think I'll, I'll lurk for the rest of the call because it's just... Uh, it's just too frustrating. It really is. Uh oh. Now look what y'all have done. <clears throat> now you get to listen to me for the rest of the call and you know, it, it could go sideways real quick, but patience grasshopper. Yeah, I've said it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. Patience. We all need to be patient. And I goes right. If you don't get it by now, you're going to be dummies with money, and then pretty soon you'll just be a dummy with no money. So we're going to have to deal with the banks. Just, you know, don't go in with a chip on your shoulder. It, it's taken me a little while to get that chip off my shoulder because of, of an issue that just transpired. <clears throat> So, you know, within the last hour and a half, I've I've calmed myself. You know, the commercial, here, Jimmy, eat a Snicker. You, knows, you know how you get when you're hungry. 
and you know what the, about that commercial? He goes from a monster back to a regular person. Well, I, I guess I was just hungry. <clears throat> so we're going to have to deal with the banks, and I'm going to deal with Wells Fargo. That, that's my choice. Um, it, that's just how it is. You know, some people don't like Wells Fargo, but if they're the only ones dealing with the Zim, and you want to take advantage of that, well. There you go. They've struck. I discussed this last time. They have put themselves. They've maneuvered themselves into a position where they're giving good rates. And so, why should that? Why should they not benefit from being a good business person, partner, company, by receiving the benefits from it? Personally, I'm taking the hundred-year payout. You can even. You can. I have heard. That if you want, you can even ask for a little bit longer structured payout. You just have to know your situation. It means I don't have to worry about 75% of how to invest it, you know, or what to do what. I've only got 25% that I'm going to have to work with, which is sizable. No big deal. Well, it is a big deal, but, it, they're, you know, I've taken 75% of the equation out of it because they're going to handle it, not me. And I'm happy about that. And you've got a monthly or quarterly income coming in from the interest. And let me say this like like they say on the Valley Girls. Oh, my God. If you just think about the interest coming in, and Ico talked about it last time, that in itself brings a whole new meaning to I can't spend that much, and that's not what it's about. We're to help our brothers and sisters. You know, everybody's still talking about when I talked about my life story, and then I, I posted on my webpage uh, my creed about how I feel, and it's in one of the tabs in there, patience. Structured payouts. Let's talk about that. Whether uh, I, I've heard the latest that if you're 70 or under, it's a minimum. Uh, let me think. I think a minimum five years. They they changed it. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Because we won't know till we get there. Until we listen, take the cotton out of your ears and the chip off your shoulder. Listen to what the bank has to say on unstructured payouts, please. When I first heard it, I went, well, isn't that going to hairlip a lot of people? But we won't know till we get there. So I guess what we're going to do right off the bat, we're going to, can you hear me? Houston, can you hear me now? 281, one question so that we can get the ball rolling here. Houston, 281, come on down. There you go. Come on down. Hello? I'm going to pass, Jerry. No questions. Oh, now you're the first caller. Come on. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm going to put your Thank hand you. down for you. Next, home of the Bears, David Koresh, Waco, Texas, 254. Come on down. Hello, Jerry. How's it going? I am clear-headed. I don't have a foggy brain. I haven't had a margarita or a blue moon in three days, and I'm about to go through withdrawals here, so help me out. Okay, well, let's go get a keg of uh, blue moon, and uh, we'll take care of that problem. Absolutely. Well, Question. I, got some, I, I actually got some news for you. Um, I had to go to my mom's bank today and take care of some business. And uh, the the lady that I usually deal with for her um, was not there, and I actually spoke to her yesterday, and she told me that she was going to be off for the next two weeks uh, on vacation. And then we started talking about some other stuff, and then she turned around and told me that she was going to be in, in a back for two weeks. Um, she can't talk to anybody else. 
Um, she told me that they can't do personal loans or anything like that. Um, I was wondering, what do you think about that? I mean, she's, you know, in that situation there. Not enough information to really give you an informed answer, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, because, uh, I, I, you know, I text her, I, you know, I said, well, is there any way you can call me? Um, I needed to talk to you. And she says, well, right now I can't. I said, well, can I call you after I, you get off of work? Um, and she says, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm uh, going to be working. Okay. So, uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir, and uh, have a good one. You too. Now, this is debatable, debatable about whether or not is it is actually home of the best barbecue, because I think Austin has it. But Kansas City, Missouri, eight one six, come on down. Yes, we do. <laughs> we love the barbecue. I know you do. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Yeah, what, what is your, what, smoke, what's your question? Smokehouse Barbecue is the best in Kansas City. I'll just put a plug in for them. Um, okay. Well, I was wondering, when you was talking about the structural payouts, now, me and my husband both are in our 60s, and you said you was going for 100 years. Uh, they'll let you go, even if you're in your 60s, will they let you go up higher? Sure. Because I'm fairly new in this, and so, you know, I can understand Ico's frustration, but some of us have only been in this for a short time, so. Well. <laughs> but we're, he, still uh, lear- we're still learning and doing fast. <laughs> it, it's, it's only directed to the people that that they're learning or they've been in for a while and they're not growing. They've, they've got oh, stinking okay. taken from the neck up, okay? Yeah, well, I've been taking notes, and I've got family members that's been in this only for about three months, and I'm doing fast teaching with them, so they'll know what to do when they get there. But the structural payout, I'd heard you say you're going up to 100 years, and I thought, okay. Because last week, I, or this last week sometime, I thought I heard you say if you was over 60, mm-hmm. over 59 or 60, they would only go a certain amount of years. Did I misunderstand well, that? Well, yeah. No, no, you didn't, but they've changed the rules again. That's why I, I've oh, said okay. many times, be flexible. Don't have okay. a uh, don't have a stiff neck when you walk right. in there with a chip on your shoulder. Just be flexible. Hey, I'm just going to be happy at the money I'm getting. And I'll take any payout as long as it's giving me the interest like that. <laughs> exactly. What What's the big deal here? If you have any questions about the Skeleton Trust, write them down, right. and okay. when you get there, ask, ask them. If you're not yeah. happy, yeah, I've already done that. I've already done okay. that. Yeah. So if you're not happy, here's an option for you. If you don't want to use a Skeleton Trust, you can take the internet. You know, I'm going to mute you because you got a lot of background noise. <clears throat> you don't have to take the structured payout. You can take the international rate, whatever it is, lead a happy lead a happy life and go on. Nobody's forcing you to sign on the dotted line to take a structured payout. There's options. So I'm going to go back and unmute her. Okay, okay. Kansas City, go again. All go right. again. Okay, well that's what I was when I heard you say that. I I just I thought, oh, that's going to be my question because you know I didn't know if there how many how many years there were. And it doesn't matter to me how we get it. I mean, we're going to have a phenomenal life the rest of our life anyway. You know, um, be able to, him re- be able to retire and us live happily forever how many more years we have left. <laughs> exactly. Let somebody else take care of it. Make a make a legacy. That's what That's I'm right. doing. That's right. <laughs> All, right. All right, ma'am. Well, thank you. And let's hope this thing goes today like I'm here today into tomorrow like I'm hearing it might. So Okay. That'll make All everybody right. that'll make Ico happy. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Well, it's not Lagrange, Texas. 
And we all know what went on down in LaGrange, Texas many years ago, but we got LaGrange, Illinois, 630. Come on down. Hey, Jerry. Thanks for taking my call. How you doing? Great. Um, I just have one thing to share, and then I do have a question after that. One, one thing just to maybe help some people out. Um, one thing I was taught by uh, my mentors is dealing with a bank or dealing with a business. I think everyone needs to look at this like when you go into the bank, there's got to be a win-win situation. There's got to be a win for the bank. There's got to be a win for you. So it's okay for them to make money on an investment vehicle that they're offering you that might be paying you 10, 15 plus percent. Um, so I'm excited about, I've been in business for a long time. I'm excited about the structured payout. And, and the reason for that is um, when I, when I started hearing about structured payouts, I started thinking, okay, if I had to take my bulk of money that I'm going to be getting after this exchange and I've got to go invest it, where do I go invest it? And I'm pretty savvy. I've done a lot of investing. I looked up the Google IPO when Google was launched. It was a $26 billion IPO they raised. So one person with maybe three, four notes could literally have bought every share of Google when the IPO went. So there's not a lot of Google opportunities out there, you know, and especially when there's an influx of this kind of money into the marketplace, it's going to be tougher and tougher to find deals that you can get 10, 15, 20, 30% on. My mentor um, has 100% of his money at play all the time uh, in his in his businesses and his real estate holdings, and he works five days a week, a lot of stress, never puts it to bed. I never want to do what he does, and he, he's able to do 25, 30% return on his money. And he said to me one time when we were talking, if he had the opportunity to just have eight million liquid cash, and he's worth over 100 million right now, and he's at eight million liquid cash in more time, uh, I would take it right away. If someone offered him 10, 15% guaranteed on a chunk of his money, he, he'd be just all over it, all over it, just because of the amount of stress he's from, from his life. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to share that. Uh, and another great story that just happened to say someone in my group who's in the, who does, is in the investment business and develops businesses was dealing with uh, a new client that they got into conversation that they found out they're both interested in the currency market and they both had some holdings. And um, after they got done with their business conversation, he called them back an hour later and said, I've got an investment group that's willing to give you 20 cents on the dollar for your dinar on Monday. And he said, well, that's great, but I know it's going to work way more than that. You know, uh, uh, thanks for the offer, but I'm holding on to mine. So I just want to know, let you know that these are, you know, savvy people that are watching the marketplace, and there's, you know, just like banks, they're looking for opportunities too. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool that even even that offer. Um, and then the one question I had, maybe Ico could chime in on this, is I've been fortunate that five years ago I really started seeing all this coming, um, just the whole market play, and I, I made a commitment to become debt-free and get out of the debt model, and I became debt-free. I, limit, I, I eliminated some of my holdings, um, put a lot of cash in the bank. And, you know, so my question is I'm still trying to figure out when this all plays out. I'm, I'm anticipating anyone that's holding cash as we move from, uh, you know, fiat currency system, fiat currency system to a asset back that the buying power of the cash you're holding would be maybe five to six times what it currently is. And the second half of that question is gold and silver holdings. Um, I've heard people say that, you know, gold is going to settle back uh, maybe to four or 500 after everything's asset back, but still, again, that buying power, even though they say that, I don't think they complete their sentence that the buying power of that four to $500 an ounce gold may be worth five to six times, um, you know, what it was when it was a fiat dollar. Is that, is that kind of, Iko, is that your read on this? Am I thinking correctly on it? You might have dropped off. No, no, I'm I'm here. It's it's, okay. it's, it's okay. the code thing. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I think I, I think your thinking is spot on. Um, it is going to be. I've heard anywhere from from like three to six times 
depending on it, it's the it's it's dependent on how the game ends up being played. Um, like I've said before, uh, nobody knows really how this is all going to settle out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as 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 far as the market goes, I'm not getting back in the market. I'm, yeah, me either. <laughs> not, I'm not gonna. I mean, plus plus I'm a believer in this in this uh, Wells Fargo structured payout. And with the amount of currency I'm putting into that program, I'm going to maximize my interest rate. And 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 you know, if it becomes what I expect it will be, uh, um, I've got a Bill Gates problem. It's like, how do I get rid of this money? How do I give yeah. this money? Because that becomes the issue. Um, I I totally bit, agree with you know, on that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, actually, it's that's what it's going to be. So. I'm the same as you. I actually said to my kids, we've been talking about post-RV. We're very fortunate that I'm able to hold a large amount of currency like you too. And I, I said to them, I believe, you know, we're going we're gonna to have this family philanthropy. And I believe as we hire people to, to, to take what we earn off our structured payoffs, our business model is going to be more difficult for them to find how to disperse all the money quarterly harder than running a business on a profitable yes. model. Yes, and while you were talking, I realized here's not, here's a new business opportunity. Um, again, philanthropic, but but put together a company that specializes in distributing uh, assets and resources and 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 whatever you know, food uh, in in countries that don't have distribution systems in place. It's the biggest problem with, with all the disaster relief is that it gets, it, you know, it, it, it gets ripped off because there's no structured distribution system. So there's, there's a great, there's a great uh, organization for somebody to, to, to start up and, 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 and replicate. I'm, I'm so excited you said that. Actually, I don't know if, uh, if you've ever seen the show The Profit. I'm modeling my philanthropy off the profit. He always, he always looks for, you know, the product, the process, and the people. And I add it to my business plan. I'm looking for the product, the process, the people, and the and the, the philanthropy. I'm going to put together a team of people that provides resources in every direction for anybody that's already doing good for humanity. If I find someone that is assisting children in need, I'm going to meet with them, and I'm going to say, if you need help doing your accounting, your financing, your your website development, your marketing, we become all that for you. You just go help the kids. You just go help them. And, and we'll do, my team will do everything else for you to get you 100% of your time helping those kids. And that's that's how I'm going to build my philanthropy. Hmm. All right. Thank well, you, sir. Good. So thanks. appreciate it, guys. You're doing a great job. Charleston, South Carolina, 843. Come on down. Star two to raise your hand. Star two to raise your hand. Am I, is my hand still raised? Why, well, yes. But okay. you can only talk <laughs> if I hear you hug a redneck and he squeals. I, I'm alone, and I'm the only redneck here. <laughs> okay, well, I, all right, ma'am. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for taking my call. I um I had found you recently and I'm so glad I did. I um I believe I heard you say the other day that um they were going to take people with Zim first. And I only have Dinar and Dong, so I said, Well, I need to get me some Zim. Uh, I called several banks and none of them sold it. And then I heard you tell someone to get it on eBay or Amazon, and I never bought anything on eBay or Amazon. So I was wondering if you could help me. Hey, ma'am, ma'am, hold on just a second. I'll be right back to you. Special caller, you're in. Go ahead. Good afternoon. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Good. 
just just killing time because see we know that you have all the good stuff. <laughs> I don't anything, know about all is, that. Is there, <laughs> is there anything that you can share? And it's been a while since we've heard from you. Thanks for calling in. Well, um, I would say this: if you're not ready, you better be ready. And I wouldn't be I wouldn't be uh, waiting long. Is there? Uh, we That's we what I would say. we. We've heard we we we've all made this statement. Can you, without getting in trouble, maybe clarify what what might be different this time that makes this more special than other times? Well, because certain if you if you're following this, then you'll know that certain announcements were made in certain areas that triggered certain events to happen to cause this to be over, and there's there's things going on in other areas that means that it's time for us to go as well. I think I can read between the lines. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can let me see if I can take a shot at it. If there if there's been a, some type of announcement it means maybe that somebody has uncovered the the big red button and they've sat on the darn thing and lights are flashing everywhere, and money's moving around. How's that? Yep, yep, there you go. The green light is, 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 is there. Go time. Okay, well, come on, get off there. There you go. Well, that works for us. Would you like to hang around a little bit for just a minute, and then... Uh, I can. I'm expecting another call in like five to ten minutes, so I'll hang on as long as I can. Sure. If you'll just mute your phone on your end, then I can leave you open on this Got end. Got it. Thank you, sir. Got it. Going back to the lady in South Carolina about the Zim. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes. You're, you're underwater. You're underwater. Hold your arm up and pick up your right foot for better reception. I don't have good reception. You can't hear me? No, we do now. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay. I was wondering if you could help guide me in buying the Zim. I, eBay. Uh, eBay. Okay. eBay. And and how do I know if I'm getting the right Zim that is going to look Look me? for the one. Look for the one that has the three rocks on it stacked well, on top of each other. Okay. And they'll they'll show you a picture of front and back and you're looking for the one that has the three the three rocks on it. Okay. That's the one you want. Two thousand eight series. Two thousand eight, okay. And right. I I heard something about double A, is that right? Yeah, double A or, or A B, they'll both work. Or A B, okay. Okay, so anybody I find on eBay, I can trust then. Is that right? Mm, well, I'm not going to get carried away, but <clears throat> just look at look at look at what they've sold in their their customer uh, customer rating. If it's up in the 99 and a half percent, then you know that's that's a good thing. So, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, I guess you can't help me with. Um, I don't even know where to start in negotiating the rates uh, because everybody says that there's rates out there, but I haven't seen or heard them. Uh, the last time, when you, last when, rate, you, when you get in there, let them count your currency, let them make you an offer. If you don't like that, make a counter offer. It's like buying a car. Oh, that's too much. So now you can say, no, sir, that's not enough. Okay. okay? And they'll keep going Very up. Jerry, take it. Until they quit going up. Then, okay. All right. Thank All right. you, Jerry. Bye bye. You're welcome. Say what, Check John? your text. Okay. Check your text. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Here we go, a mouthful. Port, Port St. Lucie, Florida, 772. Come on down. 
Good afternoon, Jerry. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for taking my call. Uh, my question is relating to trusts. Uh, I'm assuming that the um, the trust needs to be naked or empty and cannot have any encumbrances from prior uh, IRS activity or something like that. And if you do have that circumstance, you'd be better off just getting a new skeleton trust. Do I have I got that correct? Well, that that's a lot of big words for saying if it is it unclean before you put anything in it. <clears throat> to be honest, can't answer that question. I don't know. O only somebody with the IRS or some attorney, tax attorney could probably answer that, but I can't. Okay? Yeah, I have access to that. Okay, thank you very right. much. You're welcome. Here we go. Here's a double mouthful. Home Sasa Springs, Florida. After seeing it many times, I can now pronounce it. Three five two, come on down. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a hard name sometimes. Um thank you, Jerry. Um me and uh, my fiance, we we live together, but I was wondering, um, would they allow both of us because we both got separate currencies together, not together but separately. Uh, would we be able to go in to each other's uh, exchange? I don't know. I don't think so because you're not married, and that's probably one of the questions they're going to ask. You can probably take her with you, but I don't believe the both of you will be able to exchange at the same time. They'll probably want different appointments, but one can be moral support for the other. I don't know. That, that's a question that you'll have to ask when you call to get your appointment time. So if we both had separate uh, appointments, would I be able to go in with her or her go in with me, do you think, possibly? Uh, well, that's what I was just saying. You can probably be each other's moral support, but that's a question that will be answered when you call the 800 numbers when they come out. They'll let you know then. Right. Because uh, we're wanting to do a, a lot of things for, especially the Native Americans. Cause I, I've, on the reservation, there's a lot of uh, hardship right. on there, and I'm wanting to really help them help out, out a lot. Absolutely. And, you know, I, we both are pretty much invested in them, and uh, along with other currencies. Like, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I would have enough to uh, be able to help them out. Like, say, for instance, if a person has, like, 27 of the 100 trillion. Uh, oh, 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 we're not going to go there. We're not going to, I'm not talking dates. I muted you. Not talking rates. Can't help you out. All I'm going to say, and I'm not, I'm not even going to bring you back because I, I, I don't want this conversation to go sideways. <clears throat> when you walk in with your, with your Zim, and you, and you have humanitarian projects that you want to do, they're going to you know, explain to them. They're going to talk with you a little bit, and then they're going to offer you a rate. If you like the rate, take it. And I think you're probably going to like the rate because made my eyes saucer size when I heard about it. So I hope that helps you out. Um, would Would love to discuss that with you, but uh, not on the call, and no, I'm not going to call you. So thank you for your question. Uh, here we go. Again, another, can you hear me now? Houston, 281, come on down. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. I have a question. Um I know that we were saying um, we've been hearing about uh, two billion, I think, for dinar and whatever the cap is for the dong. It's it's not a cap. It's not a cap. It's the point you it's the point that you reach that you then go into structured payouts. It's not okay. a cap. Okay. Okay. Well then, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I said it incorrectly, but I think you okay. know what I mean. <laughs> so my well, question I, is, why would the Zim is the Zim still at five hundred million or more for their structure? I think structure? so. Wow. Hmm. Okay. 
That was my question. I guess I was a little confused as to why the dong and the nar is more than what the gem would possibly be, you know, as far as um I know, I know. It's crap, something to yeah. keep thinking about, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh yeah. I'm there's 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 nothing to be worried about. The bank the bank wants your experience to go like when you're when you're going to prom. Everybody's happy, things are great. They just they want it to be a happy experience. I think they're they're going to have you know besides oxygen and and couches and EMTs on hand. I think they're going to have you know the disco ball and margaritas because everybody's going to be happy. I know I will be. Right. You know, you, as you go through your stations, that last station before you walk out the door. Uh huh. Margaritas or a blue moon. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna that's, try that's one cool. of those blue moons. Just <laughs> <since> you, <laughs> I'm gonna try one just for you. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. But you know, don't just don't take one sip. You know, I wouldn't say it's an acquired taste, but as as somebody I know closely says, Scotch still is better than Blue Moon. Well, that's just a preference. So. Okay. All thank right. You, well, thank you for your answer. Bye. All right. San Diego, California, 619. It's your turn to burn. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? All right, brother. Hey, listen, uh, <clears throat> first thing is just let all that bull from Admin Bill just go right by you like a Tai Chi master. Just get out of the way of that junk and don't give it a second thought. I only had to address it because money was involved. If it had been anything else, because if I didn't, it would have been like wildfire running through the Dinar community. He's not denying the allegations. Something must be true. That's the only reason I did that. You and everybody on this call have been just honorable and doing it just like Jesus would do it. So thank you and your whole crew that you've assembled. All right. Well, thank you, Mer. So you're welcome. Now, my question is, uh, what's the latest on uh, the taxes and the uh, NDA? Can you give us any update on that situation? <clears throat> well, the NDA is inevitable. Read it. Let me give you the redneck version about the NDA. I'm sure there's going to be a, a time period about, you know, no talking from from today until X date. So. Keep your lip zipped. Right. If you if you can't handle the big money, don't take it. If you can't keep your mouth shut. If your wife can't handle it, don't tell her. Don't tell her anything. You know, she knows that you got money. Just don't tell her how much you you got and and how much you got. The kids, definitely not the kids. Move. Don't tell your neighbors. Just move. Move to an area where they don't know you. That way they think that you've had it all along. Now yeah, the, the wife, structured – go ahead. The wife, wife's got her own own currency, so she doesn't know anything about it, but I'm gonna we're going to go together, and I'm going to exchange hers and mine kind of at the same time, and then she'll have hers and I'll have mine. Uh, but you'll, you'll both probably have to – anyway, and you want to know about structured payouts? Well, no, the tax situation, uh, anything oh, tax, new on tax. I've the bank isn't going to pay taxes, and if you have a trust set up all right, already, and it depends on what kind because there's so many different ones. Right. If it's an irrevocable one that has the tax deferred benefits, then even if it is a, a taxable event, you have legally legally deferred the taxes until you actually take them out take the money out, the monies, and spent the money. But there are many ways, and we're not going to go into it, right? how to legally defer taxes. Well, if this is a gold back exchange, then there wouldn't be any taxes, right? Well, let's hope so. 
But still, this country, you, you have to pay something to live here. It's been like that since biblical times. Just the money changers have gotten out of hand, and this is this is a writing, a straightening of a lot of bad things and an opportunity for us to all show our true colors. So if it isn't a taxable event, look at all the extra cash you're going to have available. Right? Right. All right, cool. So nobody knows the tax. If Nobody will know how this is going to go until it's done. Nobody, uh, been at five and a half, six years, have heard, or six and a half years, have heard every scenario. But we won't know well, until well, we get Well, there. we know when we exchange at the at the exchange center. Well, I've I, I've just been I've just been yes, no taxes, no taxes. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was reiterated many times. No taxes. Nice. Cool. So, well, that's more, that's more money we can help people with then, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, but you know, be like a Boy Scout, just in case. Prepare. Right. All great, right. Great job. Great people on your call. Thank you so much. And never mind, Admin Bill. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, Jerry. Yes, sir. Richard. Yes, sir. Um, just, just a comment. Uh, that that might be right, but the law right now, whether things change or not, we have no idea, but the law right now is this capital gains event. But the other thing that people also want to keep in mind with people, when you've got a lot of wealth, is that people are going to come after and if you don't have the asset protection also, they stand a pretty good chance of of, of getting some of it. So just, that's the other thing that I would uh, just be aware of. And they're going to have to change the laws for this not to be a taxable event. Now, I'm not saying it is, and I'm not saying it's not. But right now, it this transaction is a capital gains event. So I'll just leave that. That's my two cents worth. Thank you, sir. Just one second. Ico, can you can you carry it for just give me two minutes? Yes, yes, I can, Jeff. Um uh, you gonna get up another call? Or? Guess not. Yeah, hold on, hold on. All right, while you're doing that. Uh, Hold on. Uh, okay. Stuart, Florida, 772. Come on down. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Good, good. Talk to Ico for a minute. Okay. Hey, Ico. Um, I have a trust that I developed, um, but my attorney today, I had to call him and um, ask him a couple of questions. He wanted, you know, he wasn't quite sure what I should do, but he said, uh, because he he can't see this skeleton trust, um, he said, just go ahead and put it in there, and then we'll figure it out later. But my question is, um, isn't there a tax advantage to putting your currency into your trust in uh, advance of the exchange? Um, I think, hey, Richard, can you answer that? Yeah, I'm on. Um well, at the risk of being a little, uh, well, not self-serving, and I don't want to say that, but the answer, I, mean, I want to answer this properly, and I, um, I want to make sure that we don't know what the taxes are going to be, and, and I'm kind of like Jerry. I can't imagine the United States government not getting their beak in this, wetting their beak, so to speak. But in the, in the proper type, to answer your question, in the proper type of trust that you would want to put this in, timing is what matters. 
and if you choose a trust to do this with, the the timing of the event absolutely matters. And since we don't know, you have to assign the 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 currency has to be a capital asset of the trust and be well established. It doesn't there's no be well established, it could be twenty four hours, twelve hours, but it has to be established in the trust as a capital asset. The, the the problem with trying to do the tax deferral with a trust that you just don't know, and like the skeleton trust that we're talking about, the ones that will be offered by Wells Fargo, is that we don't know who they're going to want to be the trustee of that trust. That's one thing. And the other thing is that it's after the fact. The event has already happened by the time that even if it did act uh uh, offer tax deferral. The timeline is after the fact. The, the, your currency exchange has an increase in value the minute that it is an official increase in value, not necessarily when you exchange it. So again, if it has to be in the trust prior to the event happening, that this is not only for currency, but it's for stock options. It's you, you try to backdate stock 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 options and stuff like that, and you're going to get in trouble. So yes, there are absolute advantages. If that's the reason that you're going to be going into a trust is for the tax deferral, it has to be in the trust prior to the event happening. Okay. Does it have to physically be in some kind of bank account in order for it to, like a um, a multiple currency account or something, in order for it to go in the trust, or is it just written into the no. trust and I hold it? It's 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 written. That's exactly what happens. You're you're not going to move the currency. It's where it is, and it's not it's not moving. You're not going to turn it over to anyone. You're not going to certainly turn it over to the bank. And quite frankly, right. when you go in, you're not going to even want to discuss it or bring it up with the bank. So it's a document, and the one of the documents that's provided uh, that we provide is a document where you give it up as a person. It's on the same page. You, you you list your currencies that you have or attach a worksheet or whatever it is in an exhibit. And the first signature is you're giving it up uh, consciously as a person. And the second signature on the page is where you, as the uh, trustee, accepts it into the trust, and now it's a capital asset of the trust. Well, that's what, that's, all, what that's, did, that's what I did today. I mean, I sent that information over to my attorney. Maybe it's a moot point. Maybe it's too late. This is Friday afternoon. Maybe he's going to play golf tomorrow. I don't know. But, you know, I just thought, holy cow, you know, maybe I well, should have Well, he, done would, he would have he, for, first of all, there's another, you'd have to make sure that the trust that he's going to provide is even a irrevocable trust in the first place. It because, is. Okay. And then you've got to ask him specifically, does it have clauses in there that qualifies this for title, IRS Title 26, subparagraph 643 for the IRS code? And if it doesn't comply, if it's the not the, the right type of trust, you're going to pay taxes on it because it doesn't, not all irrevocable trusts offer tax deferral. But no revocable trust does. So it has right. to, the, it's the language and, and what it complies with, and you have to ask him specifically, does it comply principally with Title 26 of the IRS Code, subparagraph 643? Okay. And because, and because the master's trust is a discretionary trust, that's one of the five words. All these words matter on this one because it compl because it's discretionary trust. It complies with Title 26, subparagraph 643. So you have to ask him that question. That's the well, that's the first question you have to ask him. I know you're not supposed to assume anything, but he told me to go ahead and send the list over. So I wouldn't think that he would do that if it wouldn't comply with. Um, with that section in the code, so. Well, okay, but, I, but again, you've got to ask him the question. Yeah. 
you you okay. got to do your you, you're you're the one that's going to be responsible for this, not him. Mhm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, yes, ma'am. Hey, Richard. I actually have a question for you, um, because I know people have asked me in the past, and I haven't been able to answer it. So, when I go into my exchange and I have a trust set up, and my exchange is going to exceed the limit, so they're going to want to do a structured payout with me. My currency is owned by that trust. So, and let's just use, I don't know, let's just use a million bucks just because it's simple to, to set as an example. So I've got a million dollars. And they're going to tell me that they want to keep 90% of that billion for 20 years and give me X amount of interest. So now I've got so I've got $100,000 left. Well, let me ask, let me ask you: Does my already existing trust set, now sets up a relationship with the Wells Fargo Trust? Is that the, is that the uh, uh, the first step. Uh, are you um, are you assuming that in order to get the highest rate in the structured payout, you're going to have to start in a in a skeleton trust with that bank? That is my assumption. Yes, that's that's. I believe that's what we've been told by by the various uh, bank intel sources that they're going to put us into a general trust and manage those assets for us. They're the trustee, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, yeah, that, that's the assumption. So I'm well, – I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. I won't interrupt. That, that, that's not going to happen to me because okay. the minute that it goes into that skeleton trust and it's acknowledged as your funds – Unless that trust has asset protection, has right. tax deferral clauses, you're going to pay taxes on it, and now you're going to have to put the rest of it in this trust. In, in a, in a, I don't know that that's. I don't know. I've I've raised that issue with Jerry, and he seems to think that that might not, unless you know more. But we don't want that to happen. Because the okay. trigger is the, the trigger of the of the see here's what I'd like to have happen. Let's use that same million dollars, okay? This as a percentage of what I have heard. So they they let us have 25 percent of that right away, right? And what we need to do is to establish an accounts receivable from the bank to our trust. And, and that we're exchanging the entire amount of the currency, but the payout to our trust is going to come over time. So we establish a an accounts receivable. I, I don't know what else to call it except that uh, a, a a total exchange value, and the payout is going to come over some period of time. So each quarter they're going to they're going to deposit. Um, uh, the, the the quarterly payment directly into your trust account, and it will still be a tax deferred event. It'll still qualify. I so yeah, and I that I mean that that's clear to me. It may not be clear to everybody, but that that part is clear to me. What yeah. what I what I want to uh, um, but basically what you're saying is the asset protection. For all of our funds is coming through our trust because technically or legally, whatever, however you want to look at it, um, our total funds are an asset of our trust. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And it would be it would be a receivable held by our right. trust to be paid from the bank. But the thing the thing that concerns me is that we need to we need to resist doing our exchange 
into one of those skeletal trusts because right. if they're going to if they're going to name it in our name then we have just avoided you know putting this assigning it into the trust so i i think we need to find out a little bit more about that okay i think i get it i got it i'm going to mull this over i may, have, I may call you with a question later on um, well, okay. I want I want to say this. I, I have asked if we couldn't get a banker that knows about this to come on, but I have yet to receive back a clarifying answer on that. Yeah, they're not going to do anything, Jerry, until after the exchange. Uh, I not, know, but it, I, I'm just letting everybody know that I did ask, trying to get some, uh, a, you know, an answer on this, but as always, ain't. Not till post RV. Well, if if that's still confusing, let me just let me try this another way because it's important. If, if one person's confused on it, the other is. Here's how I would like that I would like to do this because one of the things about having your bank account set up prior to the RV is is that you have that's that's a big deal because what's going to happen now is we're going to walk into theoretically we're going to walk into an exchange place, someplace, probably not a bank. I don't know. Um, we're going to shove our currency across the table. They're going to count it. We're going to haggle. And when they tell me the final number and the plan, I'm just going to tell them to deposit that money into my trust account, the ones I already have set up. It's just that simple. We don't have to go in with our trust. We don't have to do anything. We've already been vetted by Wells Fargo with our trust accounts because the accounts are open. So I, what I want to do is just to take the exchange directly into my trust because if they go someplace else and they're going to actually count that, if they're going to go to a skeleton trust and they're going to count that as our exchange in that skeleton trust, I believe we're going to, that's going to be a taxable event. So I got we got to figure out ways every way you can to bypass that skeleton trust and just have it go directly into our trust, and then and then we negotiate a a receivable on on our books on the the asset of the of the of the trust, and that that will be paid out quarterly or whatever we work out with them. So because the event is when the when the money officially changes hands, when it shows up on the bank screens, that's the value of the currency, not when you exchange it. So I, I don't know if that helps anymore or if it's confusing. I, it. I, would, I would like to say this, and I know this is where you and I probably disagree, Richard, but this is a currency exchange, and I know that there's uh, – we bought a currency – we're exchanging a currency, so it should be just straight across the board. And so there's a lot of uh, – the IRS has their their opinion. I know it matters more than ours. Um, but it, it, for me, it, it's just a straight currency exchange. should be a non-taxable event, but that's just my opinion. And, and, I, and I don't know enough to, to, to refute that, except I will – um, our soon-to-be uh, uh, accountant of 30, well, our, our trust accountant of 35 years, uh, his opinion, unless the laws change, is that that's it, this is a capital asset of a of, of a, a, a trust is is a different animal than a straight straight up exchange, and that that may be the difference. Sure. So, okay. Well, let us let us take another yeah. call. Yeah, we don't know. All right. Uh, Washington, Maryland, two four zero. Come on down. Hello. Well, hello there. How are you? Miracle Queen. That's me. Uh, How are you? Sweetie, you need to turn the speakers down in the background and go to a quiet place. There's a lot of background noise, so I had to mute you back out for a minute. So, 
if you'll do that, I'll, I'll open you back up here in a second. No, he's got my this. Miracle Queen, there's a lot of background noise. I don't have anything on. It must not be me because there's nothing on in my house. I don't have anything on. Yeah, it's it's on your end, sweetie. Well, I'll come back to you in a minute because when I mute you, all the noise goes away. Waco, Texas, 254. Come on down. 254, Waco. Scott? Yes, hi. Um, this is Pam. I, I can barely hear you. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello? Now yeah, another one. Shreveport? Louisiana, come on down. 318. Shreveport, 318, come on down. Hello. Well, three for three, here we go. Grants Pass, Oregon, 541, come on down. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to let you know they also posted that the Zim was rolled back today, and they showed no new Zim currency. They did. Yes. What's it look like? Two. It looks just like the three rocks. There's a two, five, ten, and twenty on the Sonora Chronicles. If I get a chance, I'll go look at that. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a blessed day. You too. Jacksonville, Florida, 904. Come on down. I'm ready, Jerry. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Most Reverend Jerry and Deacon uh, Ico. <laughs> Deacon Ico. I like, I like that. I Deacon Ico. Deacon, you know, they're the, they do the work behind. They are very valuable. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, earlier you mentioned an update to the structured payout. It used to be 60 years of age and under, and you mentioned 70. So 70 is now the new benchmark for age? Yes, 70 is the new 60 for what I, I'm, I'm being told. Um, Uh-oh. That's not me. I know. It's Miracle Queen. i got to find her. I'll find her in a second. She was under 240 rather than 301. Right. I think I got it. We know she's she's infamous by now. Oh, absolutely. Go ahead. The other, the other statement is the structured payout for currency is gross amount is 5 bill. Let me do this right. Two billion on the dinar exchanged and five billion on the dong exchanged, correct? Correct. Okay, because Bruce last night I think had that reversed. And I remember your call from a couple days ago and I'm maybe that still needs to be tightened up, but I'll go with your answer. I like your answer better. <laughs> well you know, what you I know mean? whether whether either way it it's that's that's the numbers before you hit the screen. The, the structured payout level for those two currencies. But as you know, the buying strength lied with the dong, so that's why I like your your way better. Okay. Just last th last thing, have you communicated with the Puerto Rican prince? Any info from him or intel? We haven't heard from him in a couple weeks. I have not. Probably found him a couple girls and forgot about us. Exactly. He's probably to... probably doing umbrella umbrella drinks. I appreciate all the intel from everyone, and he's been, I guess, missing, so I wanted to bring that up. But have a great weekend, men, ladies, and uh, let's get this to fruition over the weekend. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. 
Riverhead, New York, 631. Come on down. Riverhead, New yeah, York. Right. That's you. How are you? Go ahead. Good. How are you doing? Um, all righty. Just wanted to know, um, curious about gifting to a minor. Can you bring the child with you? Do you have to? Can you do it at the same time as your uh, exchange? Gifting to? Mm -hmm. You mean bringing a minor with you to the meeting? Not necessarily bring it up, but can you do the exchange for your child, which is a minor, at the same time as your exchange? Or do you need uh, to make a leave? I, I don't see why not, because they're still a minor. You're in charge. Okay, so you could do that at the same time. You don't need a separate yeah. The, this this is just this is just my opinion. You'll find out when you get there. I understand. And as far as the um, monies over the amount that you would initially get on a structured payout, you would get the percent uh, quarterly on those monies? I believe so. Okay. So if it was 10%, that would be 10% on the year and divide that up and you get so much quarterly. But I, I'm not quite sure. I, I think it would be 10% quarterly. Okay. Sounds good to me. More money than I'd ever have. Well, I, you know, we'll find out when we get there. We don't know that. We do not know the game or the rules of the game just yet, but we're we're close enough. I think we're going to find out pretty soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Redneck Riverhead. <laughs> All right. Bye. Now, this is on the web. Waters on the web, Yelma, Washington. Hey, Jerry. Thanks for taking my call. Got sure. a quick question about the trust. Um, as you were talking before, when you exchange into the trust, are you talking about, if you take the structured payout, are you talking about, um, say, the 25% that you get up front, is that going to the trust? And then the interest off of the 75% you get, that goes into the trust, not the whole 75%, right? Well, if, if, if the, out of the 100% of the exchange, if the agreement is, it could be 90%, it could be 75%. I just use 75 because, uh, you know, it puts a little more money in my pocket on the 25% wise, but the 75%, you're only going to get interest off of that, which will be paid into your trust. Oh, or okay. whatever, That's... or your account, or your account. Let's put it that way. Right. So, and plus, you're you... going to have the interest off of the the monies that you retain control over quarterly into your account. Right. Yes. That's that's what I wanted to find out. That the twenty five percent or whatever the the money that we get up front that can go into the trust, and then the interest off what's left in the bank that goes in trust also. Correct. All right. Okay, I got it correctly. All right, and also what, one last question. The other banks, the Chase, the other Tier 1 banks, do they have structured payout too when you get to a certain level? I don't know. All right. All right, All right. well, I guess uh, we will find out when we get to the bank. Thank you, ma'am. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Another one on the web, Atlanta, RJ. Come on down. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, good. Um, all right, so I have a question about the trust, but it's because I am i don't have a trust. So I'll be one of those that are walking in the bank line. And then I do go through my my steps, my different, uh, I forgot what you call them, uh, four or five different spaces I'm supposed to go to. Anyway, my question is, we want to open this. We want to open the skeleton uh, trust so that we have the safety before we leave the building. But if we don't know what we're doing, that's a little confusing because it was once we were told um, that we can change it later, so we can come in with our own group of people later and create our own private trust. And then exchange that is, that that is a, I'm glad you brought that up. That is a great question to ask when you go in the bank. So write it down 
you know, just right. the way you're talking about, and they should be able to answer it. If they don't answer it satisfactorily, ask it again in a different way. Right. Well, the other, the last part of that sentence was that would it still be a taxable event, um, like Richard was talking about, if I'm I taking it out. The second one would would not be a taxable event, but the first one would be. So that's I don't I don't know. We won't know till it rules till we get there. And you got a lot of feedback there. All right, sir. Well, I'll t I'll, I'll, I'll uh, get myself out of here. And uh, thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. One more caller. Kansas City, Missouri, 816, come on down. How are you doing, Jerry, today? Good, good. How are you doing? All right. You know, i was been hearing you guys talk about the skeleton trust here for the longest and how you said you was going to take it on a 100-year plan and how Eichel said he was going to take it. And I was kind of convinced on taking it myself because, like you said, I've never – had this kind of money and managed this kind of money before. But then you guys got a trust guy on the phone and a guest, and he's kind of saying something totally different. So I hope we get this figured out, you know, before things take place here. And thank you guys for the intel you bring, and I know you do your best and everything, and I appreciate it a lot, and have a good day. Thank you, sir, and I appreciate all your questions. I want to thank everybody for their participation. So we're at that time of the day where we're going to call it a day, and I just want to say, Lord, please bless everybody on this call. This is a redneck send-off. Please, please bless everybody on this call. Provide them guidance, calm heart and understanding heart. Because right now we're going, we need it in the worst way. Amen. That's a. Wait a minute. You know what? I forgot. Deacon Ico. Where is Deacon Ico at? He needs to help in this too. Deacon. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that 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 one. I'm hoping that one doesn't stick. Oh. <laughs> So, any last uh, what, any last words? Well, one thing, yeah, I want to I want to apologize. My opening statement, I really should have qualified my audience. I, I was talking to people who have been in this for a number of years, who have been in the chat rooms, who have been privy to all the information uh, uh, down through the years. Um, that uh, uh, you know, they they got they, they got to get out of their fears. They just got to get out of their fears and start trusting. Um, so enough said on that. Uh, I'm, a, I'm what I'm hoping everyone is that you you've gathered enough information so that when you're finally hit with what goes down in that exchange room, you you you've got an arsenal uh, to reason things out with, and that don't be afraid to ask them direct questions, um, and remember. You are the customer, and the customer is always right. And this time, they're, they want you, in the worst way, to stay in that bank and put all that money in there. So don't be afraid to ask anything that comes up. Um, you're, we're, we're actually in a driver's seat in a lot of ways. And I doubt that the banks have put together anything that uh, – it's going to be detrimental to us because it only takes one person to figure out they're trying to screw us. And the Internet makes this an instant notification condition. So they're aware of that now. They're aware of the power of the Internet. They're aware of the power of our communications with each other. So, so, so don't, don't go in there feeling you're alone. Don't go in there uh, uh, letting your fear ride you. Um, this is a great thing. So. And as far as being deacon goes, uh, you know, amen to everything that's been said. I wish Pastor was here today. This may very well be our last call. So with that, I will sign out.
Thank you very much. You must be talking 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 about the smart room, not to be confused, be confused with smart blondes. <laughs> there you go. Yes, the smart room. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know, I can't help myself. Now that we started with blondes, you know, how many blondes does it take to change a light bulb? Everybody knows that it's five. One blonde to hold the light bulb and four to turn the chair. Okay, duh. All right, enough said there. That's why they write TGIF on their shoes. Toes go in first. Oh, my God, we better stop there. All right, everybody. Say goodbye. Bye. The conference is now completed. Goodbye.